When choosing surround sound speakers, some people say bookshelf speakers are the best or some people say bipole speakers are the best. Which one is the best? Only one can win on this versus this. So you may have heard the battle or maybe even you've been wondering yourself, if I have surround sound speakers, what should I go with? Should I buy more bookshelf speakers or should I go with bipole or tripole speakers? Well, to answer that question, we first need to know what each are. So your bookshelf speaker, you guys are more so familiar with. It has typically one driver on the bottom, that's your mid-range woofer, and then you have a tweeter above it. That's pretty much a bookshelf speaker in a nutshell. It's one main driver and then a tweeter, and sometimes they can have variations of that. But the point of a bookshelf speaker is that it's direct firing. So typically, for the most part, wherever you face that speaker, most of the sound is gonna go in that direction. Now a bipole speaker is a little bit different. Bipole speakers have at least an additional woofer and tweeter, and they don't fire directly at you. A lot of times they'll fire side to side, or maybe one will fire straight and one will fire to the side. There's different iterations of a bipole speaker, but it's a direct reflecting type of system, meaning that the speaker does not point directly at you, or at least the drivers don't face you even when the speaker is facing forward. So that's a nutshell of what a bipole speaker is. It's a driver array that is pointing to the side of the listening position. So if I'm a speaker, imagine me talking, I'm a speaker, but my mouth is over here and my mouth is over here. So even though I'm looking at you, my mouth is firing to the side. That is typically what a bipole speaker configuration looks like. So it makes people wonder which one is better for surround sound. And we're gonna try to debunk this now. Me personally, I've had both types of speakers in my home theater for a very long time. I've had two different types of bipole speakers, both from Fluence and Polk Audio. And of course, I've had many bookshelves throughout my years. And in my current home theater right now, I am using a full bookshelf system as far as my surround sound speakers go. And why have I chosen that method? So to answer what why my method is what it is, we need to understand what each speaker does and what it does differently. So we already said bookshelf speakers are more direct firing and bipole speakers are more side firing. Their job is to try to get more seats, more sound. So I typically say when you have multiple rows of seating, if you have a big home theater space and you have rows of seating, it actually may be better to have bipole speakers because there's two drivers in one cabinet pointing to different sections, different rows essentially. So it covers a more wider field of listening seats, right? But it does just a little bit more than that. It also keeps it from being too directional. In surround sound, you want things to you know, kind of envelop you. You want to look around and you know something's behind you, but you can't pinpoint it. That's what bipole speakers do best. When you put them where you usually put your bookshelf speakers, it makes it harder for your ear to directly locate where that speaker's coming from, giving you a little bit more realism when it comes to the atmospheric sounds in movies. So bookshelf speakers can do the same thing, but not quite as good. When you put a bookshelf speaker in a spot and you point it forward, that's where the sound's gonna go. So when you're sitting in your seat and you have bookshelf speakers around you, you point them at you and you can tell exactly where they're coming from. Bipole speakers try to take that away and add to the more realistic experience when watching movies. So some people may like bipole speakers better better because it adds to the confusion in a sense as to where is all that sound coming from versus bookshelf speakers where you can usually say, okay, that's coming from the left speaker, that's coming from the right speaker. Bipole speakers completely take that away. So you may be thinking, okay, so if bipole speakers give you more realistic sound, make it harder to detect where things are coming from, why isn't it the better choice? Why aren't more people using them? Well, let's go back to what we said in the beginning of the video. Bipole speakers do really good on covering a wide section. So if you have multiple rows, it's perfect for that. But sometimes it's better to have direct sound pointing to where you want to go. If you have bipole speakers, it's a lot harder to dial it into your system for more than one reason. A big reason why a lot of people don't run bipole speakers is because they're typically bigger. They're bigger typically than bookshelf speakers because you have to fit another driver in there. So you may not have the space. 
Typically also, they're made to be hung on a wall. You'll see that most all Bible speakers have some type of fork type of hook or some kind of wall hanger that you can hang on the wall. It's meant to sit flat against the wall so you can have it behind your seat or on the rears. Now, some... Some audiophiles will tell you that it's actually not great to have bipolar speakers behind you because you want that directional audio. So who knows which one's better? It's more for your space and what you're going to be using it for. Now, the reason that K-Pace guy doesn't use bipolar speakers in his home theater anymore is because of one main reason, and it is because of those side-firing drivers. When you have bipolar speakers, they bounce everywhere. So even though sounds come from, you know, wherever, and it sounds really cool, you don't really pinpoint where things are coming from, that's not always what you want. When things are painting around you or flying from front to back or whatever the case is going, you want to hear that transition. If you have bipolar speakers, they're bouncing off the side wall, the back wall, the front wall, and they're never really making it to your seat. They're going all which way, which may be cool in some situations, but a lot of movies place sounds directly to that speaker. A lot of audio engineers put sounds in specific spots so that it sounds like it needs to, based off the movie you're watching, it sounds like what you're seeing. So if you're watching me on a movie and I throw a, a bouncy ball behind you and you hear it bounce from left speaker to right speaker behind you, you want it to sound like it's bouncing from left speaker to right speaker. But if you have a bipolar speaker, that sound is going every which way and it may not sound very realistic to what you're watching. So for me personally, I enjoy a nice bookshelf type system in my surround sounds. I point them pretty much directly at ear level and they sound, they have sounded great for the last four or five years that I've done it this way. Now, I do like bipolar for certain situations. It is really cool to kind of confuse your mind in a sense and wonder where all that sound is coming from. But more times than not, it is better to have a bookshelf speaker that is placed perfectly right there where it needs to be behind your listening position to give you the most realistic and true to life sound that the, you know, the movie maker and the audio engineer in, intended. So you guys may think I'm smart, but I'm not a scientist. I'm not an audio engineer. So don't take everything that I say for full value. It is my opinion. So I want to hear yours down below. Which one do you guys prefer? Have you even ever tried bipolar speakers in your surround system? If you have, what was your experience in your home theater? Did you like them less? Are you still running them now? Do you like them more? What is your experience with bipolar speakers? And tell me, where do you have them placed? Are they on your side surround? Are they your rear surround? Where do you have your bipolar place if you're using them? And tell me what you think about them. I'm curious to know down below in the comment section. Leave me your opinion. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and we will see you in the next video. Keep this guy out. Peace. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.